What's up, guys? It's that wrestling dude YT. Um, today we're unboxing the Pro Wrestling Crate November 2021 box. I want to say I remember who's in this box. I'm getting really bad at this. Um, I know it's it's a good box. I can't remember who's in it though, but it's a, I I remember it's a really good box. Um, next month is also a good box. I can't remember who's in next month either. But it has two autographs. And then Pro Wrestling Loot is doing a two autograph thing as well with tag teams. So next month's going to be a good month. But I can't remember who's in this one. My phone's at 15%. <laughs> Alright, so the spoilers on the back of this, so I'm not going to look at it. Um, what's that? Spoiler alert, the other side of this card contains the contents of this crate. Next month's crate features Kevin Steen... Mick Foley, Lucha Bros, Awesome Kong, Glacier, EC3, Brian Pillman Jr., and Nick Gage. Kevin Steen, Mick Foley, Lucha Bros. Amazing. Awesome Kong, pretty good. Um, Brian Pillman Jr., great. Uh, Glacier, EC3, eh. Nick Gage, cool. That's something that's cool, you know? Okay, so I see a shirt I already dig the fuck out of in here. Um, let's just... I like the cartooniness of it. Is it Omega? It is Omega. That's a nice ass fucking shirt. I dig the shit out of that. I just want to see it. <laughs> that is a really nice fucking shirt. I actually, My Hero Kenny Omega. Oh shit. That's uh, the My Hero Academy, right? Or Academy or whatever the hell it is. I don't watch that, but that's an awesome ass like cartoon. I don't know. It looks like a nice shirt. It's a nice shirt. It's, it's, just leave me alone. Oh, something's poking me. My leg. Sharp. What the fuck? Apparently, I'm chips from work. Metal chips. Alright. So, there's a sticker. It is Terry Funk. Terry Funk University. Hardcore students. Professor Funk. Living legend. School of Hard Knocks. That's pretty cool. Going on the fridge with the rest of the stickers. <laughs> Put all my fridge on. Or all my stickers on the fridge. Let's just see if we can feel something else around here. This is different. Feels like a pin, like a presidential pin type thing, but there's no thing on the back. Like a poster, maybe? <laughs> then there's a comic. I assume that's the regular pin. Yeah, that's the pin. The brawler. Autograph. Okay. Second shirt. Uh, that is Luna Vacan. Oh, I wish they would have did the brawler of her. I actually wanted a Luna Vacan brawler. I like Luna Vacan. The shirt's pretty cool, too. Daughter of Darkness. That's cool as hell. That's a really nice shirt. I, I was glad they put Luna Vacan in it. That's a really cool addition. Um, we're going to do the little... Uh, can they always do first? <laughs> Who is that? I can't read backwards. RJ City. I do not know who the hell that is, but he's been in multiple boxes. I don't remember him being named in this box, though. But, fuck if I know. Um, Alright, so, we're gonna do the comic book next. Make sure it's turned right. I do not keep the comic books. Um, This is Tales from the Road. Cassie Lee, Jesse McKay. That's the uh, the inspiration or the iconics. I got it. Oh, I had to do it. I love the iconics. Just fucking, I would sit there on the couch and be like, I got it. I fucking loved it. I couldn't not do it. It was just great. They were so fucking annoying and I loved it. I loved every second of it. But I'm not into comics. But cool addition for anybody who is. We're gonna do this little thing. Oh shit, it moved. It's a mirror, I believe. Oh, is it Tyler Breeze? I bet. Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> how bright that fucking mirror is? It's a mirror. That's on my light. <laughs> That's fine. Oof. I mean, it is Tyler Breeze. I was gonna say, who else has that gimmick? Like. Mirror. Don't look at my G. Jorio. Giorgio Armani thing. 
Damn, I might keep this. This is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. That's cool as hell. Mmm, gorgeous. Mmm, <laughs> gorgeous. Fuck yeah, I am, buddy. Mmm. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to do the brawler next. Virgil. 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 It's alright. It's a decent brawler. I mean, it's not, I don't really care for Virgil too much, but uh, I guess they tried. This box kind of been like lackluster. Um, I do like the mirror and the shirts. The shirts are pretty cool. Other than that, everything else has been kind of lackluster. So I hope the autograph makes up for it because it's all we got left, guys. It's all we got left. Who else was in the box? Ooh. It's Swoggle. I know it. Damn it! Fucking box. <laughs> uh, Swoggle. I wish it was like a WWE picture of Swoggle. Like, although I do like Hornswoggle, it's just I don't know. It's just like Hornswoggle. Like, make a brawler of him. Make it like half the size of the original brawlers. That's a smart idea. That's good. Like, but an autograph by Swoggle. It's like you could have got like Cassie and Jesse. And made like a Hornswoggle comic where he was like a leprechaun. And you know, like the evil leprechaun movie. Like literally there's a fucking evil leprechaun movie. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's just called Leprechaun. But you could have went like a parody of that. And then like them for the autograph. Everything else could have stayed the same. I feel like there wasn't a lot of good names. So they didn't use them right. There was like three good names. It was four. It's Cassie and Jesse were good. Luna Vacan and Kenny. Um, all the rest were very lackluster. I do like Swoggle though. Swoggle's cool as fuck, but it's just I don't know. That's a clean ass picture though. I mean the autographs are really nice, honestly. Um the picture's real fucking clean, real uh It's just real nice. I don't know how to explain it. Um it's real crystal clear. The autograph is fucking really nice. Like it, it almost looks like it was like printed on there, like off an actual picture. Like not like he wrote it by hand. It looks nice, but you can see it's wrote by hand. But I mean, it's just like he was so fluent with his strokes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like that. That's cool. It was a good box. It was a good box. Probably like, I'd say like 6 out of 10. Um, 6.5, I'd say, because Luna Bacon. Luna Bacon. Um, everything else, kind of lackluster. But, it's whatever. It's cool. The Kenny Omega, Luna Bacon, and then the, uh, the mirror. Definitely the best parts of the box. Um, Virgil. A waste of a micro brother. Could have had fucking, you know, Terry Funk. And then, like, a Virgil sticker or something. <laughs> like, who wants a Virgil micro brawler, you know? But, um, alright. Well, I'll see you guys next month. This is December. So we have four autographs total in December. Um... I want to try to remember who's in pro wrestling boots. Steiner Brothers, Rock and Roll Express, somebody else. Um, and then this again has Kevin C and Mick Foley, Lucha Bros, Awesome Kong, Glacier, EC3, Brian Pillman Jr., and Nick Gage. I am assuming, since they're doing two autographs, um, in the box next month, it will be Lucha Bros. I feel like that's a giveaway. Like it's gonna be two on the same picture, Lucha Bros. Which I am fine with because I love Lucha Bros. That's the best tag team I've watched in a damn long time. Um, I would love that. So, say Lucha Bros autograph, a Mick Foley brawler or a Kevin Steen brawler would be fantastic. Like a Mick Foley with like a barb like Barbie, that'd be cool as shit. Um, <clears throat> or even a shirt. Um, so I'm gonna say Kevin Steen shirt, probably kill Steen kill or something like that. Um, Mick Foley, I'll say. Brawler. 
Nick Gage shirt. They can't go. He's hardcore, and they ain't going to go too much with that. Um, Glacier. It'll probably be the pin. Brian Pillman Jr. will probably have something to do with his dad, I assume. EC3, I'd say probably a sticker. An awesome Kong, I would say like a comic or a DVD. Um, so I feel like they would do something like Kong, like that's just me doing parodies and shit like King Kong, Awesome Kong. They do like something like that or like she's kind of like a darker person. So I figured maybe that. Um, but I feel like I got that pretty spot on. Crate lineup subject to change. Each subscriber to the regular crate has a chance to receive a limited chase colorway micro brawler and label pin. We did not get one. I do not think. I definitely do not think that we got those. But I don't know. But I'll see you guys next month for our Pro Wrestling Loot first, and then Pro Wrestling Crate, and then the following month we have both of those, plus All Elite Crate again, which I am fucking excited for. I love that box. It was a very nice box last time. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next month.